Kaepernick just got massive honor today with permanent position, the NFL is finished forever. Colin Kaepernick started a trend in the National Football League that has no place in sports. Just when the season started again this year without him, Americans thought that the protesting would have ended with his career. Unfortunately, the disrespectful antics are back with several players already having defiantly set out for the national anthem at their preseason opening games. Despite the massive call to boycott the NFL, the protests among the players will only be getting worse now that Kaepernick has just been honored with a permanent position that's never been done before. If the honor he was just given isn't bad enough, the reason for it will surely infuriate all Patriots. Many players saw what Kaepernick did and his inability to get on a team the following season, and rather than learning from that bad decision, they repeated it. While everyone is entitled to their own opinions, there's a time and a place for this and it's not in sports. Evidently, a set of officials disagrees that sports and politics shouldn't mix. Not only are these historians recognizing his kneeling as a great achievement in his career but have decided to honor it by making it a permanent part of our history, beyond just a bad memory. Kaepernick personally derailed his chances of ever being inducted into the Hall of Fame, due to his own lack of athletic performance on the field. Now he's been given the honor of his own exhibit for his anti-American protests, at the National Museum of African American History and Culture. If attention and notoriety are what he wanted, which seems to be the case, he certainly got that. Other athletes will continue down this path after him seeing that it's something they could be celebrated for long after they retire. With this major honor that will remain in the museum for years to come, the chances of protests becoming a thing of the past is pretty much gone. Ultimately, it's attention that these athletes are after and they see that they can get it. Rush Limbaugh was quick to criticize the museum for their decision. Yahoo Sports is reporting that Colin Kaepernick is going to get his own exhibit at the National Museum of African American History and Culture. Man, it doesn't take much, apparently, to get your own exhibit. Fail as a quarterback in the NFL, and you get your exhibit. Yahoo Sports can't seem to fathom why Kaepernick, who is currently a free agent, is still unemployed by any team in the NFL. His performance has been largely criticized, but the report completely ignores that and praises him for how he played last season by comparison to players like Jacksonville's Blake Bortles' dumpster fire Thursday night. Just last season, Kaepernick had 16 touchdowns and 4 interceptions, along with 2 rushing TDs, as a part-time starter for a porous 49ers team, Yahoo Sports reported. However, no matter how well anyone thinks he played in comparison to other players, he wasn't a team player with his selfish protests that he's now being commemorated for. Even though the museum wants to praise Kaepernick for his season-long statement, it was actually a thorn on the sport. The protests did more bad than good for the NFL and Kaepernick's team, the San Francisco 49ers. This is why it's so hard for him to find a spot on a team now which NFL legend and current executive vice president of football operations and general manager of the Denver Broncos, John Elway, explained today. 247 Sports Reports Asked Thursday about sitting or kneeling during the national anthem, a trend started by Colin Kaepernick in 2016 and continuing this preseason, the Broncos general manager gave a strong, well-thought-out response. The gist? He respects players' beliefs and supports their rights, with the caveat being that it doesn't hurt the team. That's not the best thing for our football team. My only advice, we tell our players, I respect where you stand, just when you're doing anything just understand what it's doing to the football team because I want all of these guys to understand that we are football first and we want to win football games, Elway said. It's not the time to commemorate protests and give it an exhibit in a major museum. Our country is more divided than it has ever been before and people need to start to find common ground and come together, which sports has always been a venue for in the past. Now, the protests will continue since they are celebrated, which will only perpetuate problems in society. Society.